All right, so first kayak trip of 2023. Hopefully gonna run into some larger kokanee today and probably some rainbow trout. We'll see how it goes. There's fish. How was the bite? Didn't stick though. Nibble. Just the nibbles. See if he's still following it. He is following it. See that? <laughs> I was wondering if he'd still be back there. That was great. I love that. I saw that nibble, I slowed down, let it fall back into his face. I figured he didn't get stabbed by those hooks. See if we got a trout or a kokanee. Not jumping back there like a kokanee would. But you never know. He looks pretty hefty. Just swimming at me right now. Nothing too exciting. Looking very, very trouty. Yep. Very nice rainbow though. As many rainbows in this lake are. Probably pushing that 17 inch mark or so. Let's do a quick release here. Use the pliers so I don't have to handle them. Take any slime off of them. Calm down, buddy. Get you going. You got plenty of fish in the freezer. I don't need you. See you later. Good start, though. Get a fish in the first couple of minutes of the troll. That technique works for, for kokanee and for trout. That you know, if you get that tap and they didn't actually feel the sting of the hook, then it's definitely worthwhile slowing down just a little bit, dropping that gear back into their face, seeing if they'll take it. Because a lot of times they're just getting that taste. Here's fish. Got one. There he is. This one feels a little more coconut. A little rowdier. Bit of head shaking. I did a little stop and turn there to see if I could trigger a bite. Biting dirty near the boat, it's what they do. But just a big rainbow. That is a gorgeous rainbow. Come here, bud. Okay. I got you. Wow, you're pretty. Come on. Look at that rainbow, guys. Woo. Sexy. Got both hooks in them, though. Alright, we'll get them revived. There he goes. Nice, good cold water. Thanks for better releases. Well, this one's definitely been the hot one for rainbows, but I gotta complain about catching 18 to 20 inch rainbows, though. They're fun. No kokanee bopping the surface yet, which I guess makes sense. It's in the mid 30s. There's not a lot of not a lot of hatch happening right now. Oop, there's fish. on pink. Oh, that feels hefty. Back on my favorite Dodger lure combo. Ooh. This feels like it has some muscle. Not jumping. Typically the kokanee, when you hit them with no weight on the surface, they jump, so could just be a very robust rainbow. But we can always hope. It's funny how certain lures just, and dodger combos always produce for me. And then you talk to somebody else and they don't even like that combo. It's a big rainbow. Figured it was a rainbow, the way it fought like a rainbow. But it's a big one. Okay, still got my gloves on. I'm just gonna do a over the over the rail release. Oh, man, that's a very pretty fish. Probably in the 
Now you decide that you don't want to go inside the boat. Hey. Hey. I'm your friend. Most people would kill you, but I don't want you. Oh. See ya. See you later, buddy. Alright, so we're gonna check the leader. And we're gonna check. The hook is still sharp. We're good to go. Rebate, redeploy. Just using Procure's Carp Spit oil today. Just kind of a mixture of Nightcrawler corn, anise, amino acids, like bite stimulants. Just a bunch of good stuff. I like those anise flavored stuff early in the season when it's cold water. Apparently the rainbows do too. Fish, fish. Got him. It's on the pink again. Didn't look very crummy back there. Probably another rainbow. Not jumping crazy. But these big rainbows will keep you busy, which is nice. Yep, it's a big rainbow. Pretty one. Gosh, very healthy. Very, very, very healthy rainbows. Okay. Go ahead and pop him off. That's probably another two, three pound fish. There you go. I don't like to handle them when I have the gloves on, so. And I don't like to get my hands cold either, so. That's the best way to do it. The bite on the uh, orange has dropped off, the orange and chartreuse. I have a little more sun, so that could be what's going on on that rod. I always seem to do better with that chartreuse, low light, cloudy conditions. And then in the bright sun, I do better with the nickel, or chrome and moon jelly with pink. Oh, that's nice sunshine. I haven't seen that in months. I'll take it. But with that sunshine, I think it's time to switch out to something gold. Find one of those chromies. Chromy homies. Alright, we'll give the gold red a shot. I'm jumping like a kokanee, but I think he might have tossed it. Yep, I lost him. Dang, that was a kokanee. Bummer. Lost him. That was kokanee. Jumpy, jumpy. Off the downrigger. Gosh, that sucks. Hate losing him. It happens, though. Just hate it to happen to me. I was on the gold red. I might go right back through here. Oh, oh, oh. Damn. Damn, that thing smashed it. Downriggers have been getting hammered. Looking very, very rainbow esque. That is a huge rainbow, though. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> that is a monster rainbow. That's a big wild. Man, look at the size of that thing. Woo wee. That's a beastie boy. Alright, calm down. I'll get you going. Yeah. Very nice fish. Over 20 inches for sure. See ya. Well, it's not looking too good for a late afternoon rally. I had a good start to the morning with a lot of bites, all beautiful, like two to three pound rainbows, maybe a few that were larger than that. I got a little more sporadic. 
I did hook up with a kokanee um, right when I went to gold and red on, on the downrigger. And then uh, after that, just a couple more rainbows and it's really slowed down. I haven't actually had a bite in almost an hour. But that's just how it goes sometimes in these fisheries, is these low density kokanee fisheries. Uh, you just kind of got to sort through the rainbows and some days you find the kokanee and some days you don't. Anyways, it was great to finally get out on open water. It's been a very brutal winter. And I look forward to getting back out here and uh, going after kokanee again. And maybe it's a little bit warmer. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye guys.